Hello guys, Supersonic Step here, and we're going to be here to extract uh, Demiel 0.56 and set it up instantly with a pre-configured package. So this way, you can play your Dreamcast games online with the save file already in. So this is our file, we've extracted it right here. We'll go to Soul Calibur 1, of course, it's right here and everything. Just like the other just like the other package you would first go to config plugins which will be called plugins here delete roms and then your plugins select where the folder is now it's on my desktop so it'll be right here for me so it's really easy to get because it's on my desktop so i would go to plugins first all you're doing is really matching it up you will see this pop up first and you would think you're done but rest assured you are not done yet you hit roms and then finally, you hit NVRAM. Make sure that GD-ROM is on image because we're working with Dreamcast games. This could be whatever, but do not use GPU OGL V3. It does not work. I would use GPU DX Legacy. Hit OK. Then you would want to go to GD-ROM. Now this is where you would put your Dreamcast game in. You can also set this to pop up before you like load emulation and all this. So you would navigate to where your Dreamcast game is. It would be this PC, desktop, Soul Calibur 1. And it should be in here. There we go, Soul Calibur GDI. You could put a CDI or GDI file in there. I recommend a GDI, so no desyncs. And then you will go to VSF, VMS Manager. You should see something already in here called port A. You hit, you select VMS. And you go all the way to mem saves and make sure you pick vms now you'll see a bunch of stuff load this is good this is the memory card now you can play you would launch the game but let's check our controls first ah, they seem fine you would launch the game from dc it asks me the game loads. Here it is. Now, real quick, we would want to enable netplay always if you're planning to play people online. You don't have to really worry about this because for player one, you will almost you will always be using player one. You will always be using player one for online or in general anything. Now, I don't know, I don't know yeah. One let's check the GD ROM. Oh, it's because I haven't even started. So, of course, um, remember, if you have it on startup, you have to redo it. So, I would recommend not having it on startup then, if you want to, but I personally don't. So, I just only have to do this one, and I'm done. Now, this is the Calera window for Netplay. Let's say that you have your, let's say you want to play on servers, you can go to one of these servers, let's say Fighting Games Atlanta, you can host by hitting CR and then boom, so caliber. Or you could leave, switch tier to P2P, or connect with peer to peer. Or if you don't want to play any of that and you just want to play offline, you can just hit X, game should load. You can also go to config like the other build and like, you know, of course, increase the resolution or anything. I'll just increase it by a little bit. I don't want it to be a lot. Let's get the, let's get this. Oof, that must have hurt recording. Let's check my recording settings. All right, let's go. Namco. Hmm. Oh, it happened when I changed my settings. I'm sorry for the wait. This is pretty much done. You don't really have to do anything at this point. And here's the game. Sorry for that. <laughs> You're pretty much done by this point. You have everything. And uh, the game should just load. Just fine.
here it is. From this point, you're done. The game loaded successfully. That's all you needed. And uh, you can just play. No. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy netplay and multiplayer. Hope you guys learn how to set this up. I hope this guys, I hope this got you more into the guide. We have some graphical stutters like this. So, let's see again. So, let's pick Sigfrey against um, Dan Favorite Sophia. And this is a map that I believe you have to unlock. And here we are. Soul Calibur, ready to go. And this works with Demio 0.56. I think Demio 0.56 is one of the best versions for Netplay Dreamcast games. As it's very fast, it's very smooth, and it's just it's very responsive. Hope you guys like this video. It's been a great one. And I'll be glad to make more and help out with these emulators so more people can start playing. See you later, guys.